Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel Offer again. Well today I want to make a quick tutorial on how to fix strip threads on the old shallow tremolos. These are probably my favorite tremolo designs but the base plate is made out of a softer material and it happens pretty frequently that you strip the intonation screw holes where you lock the saddle in place and for many years I thought that the tremolos are done but I stumbled online upon this method to fix the stripped holes uh, using helicoils. This thing really comes in handy, it costs about 15 bucks on Amazon and they provide you with all the tools you need, the drill bit, the thread creator, you only need a hand drill, maybe a pair of pliers and a good delicate touch. I broke the main tool probably like two minutes into my first um, helicoil insert but I can still use it because I still got the bit that's supposed to be here somewhere and I can't see it at the moment but you'll see it in the video anyways it's pretty simple it really helped me salvage a lot of these great tremolos and I hope it will help you guys too alright let's get into it alright so let's get started we have all the tools we need we have our hand drill we have our shallow tremolo we have our helicoils and the rest of the tools. I also recommend get, getting some pliers. It's always good to have in hand. So let's get started and remove our tremolo bar. Get it out of the way. Take a two millimeter wrench and open up the saddle that we want to. Repair its thread. Put all of your tools in a box. Not like I do, so it won't get lost. Remove the saddle and locate the hole. All right, now we're going to take our hand drill and we're going to take the drill bit that the kit provides, put it in place, make sure that it drills nice and straight, that the drill is nicely fitting in there. Now it's going to get a little dirty because we're actually drilling into the metal, so make sure you're doing it in a designated space. Go to the hole, make sure you're nice and straight, and go for it. There we go. Hole is drilled, looks great. Hopefully you guys can see something on your end. And now we're going to take the thread creator, this tool, and we're going to put it in our hand drill. Nice and easy. Alright, now it's tight in there. Also, you want to apply some pressure. And go all the way and back. That's it. We got our thread. And now delicate part. We're going to take the helicoil. Basically the helicoil is just a coil and it's going to create our new thread. You see it's this tiny coil. Because the hole we made is a little bigger the helicoil is going to create the new thread and secure it. Now I broke the original tool. I'll show you the original tool look like that and I guess it was kind of connected in this way I think but I still have the bit and that's what's important and I'm going to take the little bit grab the helicoil with a little notch and I'm going to go to my new thread and insert it in there now you can either do it if it's broken like that, I can do it with a drill, sometimes it breaks it though, so let me try with the pliers. And I'm going in slow, small increments because I don't want to break the coil. And I want to get to a point where it's flush or even a little bit below the surface because the cell is going to rest on it and want it to be completely flush. There you go. 
looks good, the coil is in there, now let's see if our saddle will fit. Perfect, locks tight, looks good, feels good, and yeah, we're left with a little bit um, of the heli coil sticking out, doesn't affect anything, it doesn't come in touch with the body, your flow is laying on top of it, and yeah, that's a fix, pretty straightforward, just remember, be delicate, don't break the designated tool like I did in the first, I think it happened in the first couple of minutes that I tried using it. I applied too much pressure and it just broke. And luckily I still have the head, so uh, I can still do it. And again, one of these kits costs something like 15 bucks, I think. Maybe a little less, a little more, I can't remember. I'll post the link in the description below. And, but it's very useful and I think it contains like 50 helicoils so it will last you for a lot of repairs and yeah I highly recommend it change my life good luck alright guys that's it for today thanks so much for watching please let me know in the comments below if the video helped you out and if so feel free to subscribe and follow the channel because I got a lot more uh, Charvel, Shalar, Floyd Rose related videos and I hope I can help you guys salvage and improve your guitars and hardware. Anyways, stay safe, rock on. I'll see you all very soon in the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.